I always was the guy who was called a midget in school. As soon as I joined first grade, few days passed of, of fun time and stuff, and then sooner or later I started being called a midget by all of my classmates because I was the, the shortest person in the class. Not only that, as the years progressed, I was also considered a crybaby because people used to beat me up in school and I was always the target because I didn't know how to protect myself. I was always the guy who would take the punches and never fight back. I was the quiet kid in class. I was that person. And I never actually know, knew how to deal with this, with this stuff. And now when I look at this back, all I want to say is just a little letter to my younger self. Sadly, this younger self doesn't exist anymore because I'm already me, leveled up and grown up. But I am aware that maybe you have the same problems as I did. So let this video be a lesson to you as to what to do when you're younger. Or maybe you're the same age as me, but you are struggling with the same problems. So what, what is the thing that I wish I knew sooner? You see, the moment everything changed was when I started owning up to myself. I started owning up the fact that yes, I was a shorter person. Yes, I wasn't as smart as the other people. Yes, I'm this. Yes, I'm that. Yes, I'm Christian. And that's when I actually started feeling a bit more free. And the more I did this, the more I was becoming accepting of myself. And I did this through multiple habits. It was the time when everything changed in my life. What do I mean by this exactly? Well, the time that when everything changed in my life was the time where I actually started developing the right habits. I was skinny fat, so I decided to go into the gym. For the first time in my life, I was actually proud of something. Then I started gratitude journaling and meditation to actually help myself cure my consciousness and my mental health. And then I started realizing just how much above average I really am. I literally learned English inside one single month and I started realizing my potential. So really, all you need to do, if I had the chance to go back in time with only one advice and relive the whole experience, my advice would be start doing the right actions and own up to the person that you're currently. Because that's why people who actually smoke or, a or are drug addicts, or even are fat and obese and disgusting, still get girls and friends because they own up to what they are. They aren't trying to run away. If you're masturbating, yes, you masturbate. Yes, own it and try to fix it. You're small, you're weak, you don't have muscles, go and get them. But own it in the meantime. Yes, I'm small and I will change that. Yes, I'm a midget and I will change that. Yes, I'm weak and I will change that by going to martial arts. Yes, I'm this and I will do this to actually change what I'm currently struggling with. That's the thing that I wish I knew sooner. So if you're currently in the same position as I was, just follow this advice to the T and that's all you need to do. Just own up to whatever you're currently thinking and it won't be long before masturbation isn't a problem to you anymore. The moment I actually discovered this advice, the moment I started this path of self-improvement and self-discovery was the moment I quit almost every of my addictions. Just like that. I literally quit masturbation within one single day and even though before literally I was masturbating for 30 times a day for two weeks straight. The next day, I was a new man, a new person, ready for action. And look at me now. So if you would like to be in a similar position, or even better, a position even better than I'm currently in, click the first link in the description and take action upon this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.